Hey, this is Matt Rack One. And uh, this is Ryan with HUSNG.com. And we are playing on the new WSOP Legal Nevada poker site. Um, this is one player to a hand, so I'm just going to be asking Matt questions here as he plays with these uh, annoying sounds. <laughs> yeah, usually uh, early on, I'm just going to start off like min raising every button just to figure out uh, how my opponent's going to play. Uh, it's only a $10 game right now, so it'd be really interesting if we see any type of unusual spewy play from the player. Or he's going to play a little more straightforward. Uh, I'll probably play a little tighter out of position until I feel now I'm not going to make any plays or anything like that. So uh, structure is 100 big blinds, what, 5 minute levels? Um, so it looks like a player on the left. Yeah, I think it might be like 5 minute levels. The structure starts 100 bigs deep, and uh, then it goes like 15.30, then 25.50, then 75.50. It's a little bit of a slower turbo structure than usual. Uh, I'm going to feel out how he reacts to when I'm give up. Some people play back more of these. He's shown some aggression so far too, so it'll yeah. be interesting to see what he does. Yeah, and that was the first time he really limped, so I really kind of want to figure out how he's going to play that way early. Like when we're 100 bigs deep, it's a lot cheaper to make a maybe not so great play out of position. Mm. Well, the time in between hands on this really is kind of slow. <laughs> uh, let's let him see. If you hadn't raised the one before, would you have raised that one? Or, uh... um, sometimes, you know, I mix it up. Um, a lot of people here are just going to limp stab. Um, Especially the players for the kind of aggressive. Uh, sometimes I raise here. Here I'm just going to peel and see if he barrels twice. I'll probably fold the turn because, I mean, even if he had like a straight draw on the flop, he hit a 10 sometimes. But a lot of times he has complete air and he probably wouldn't barrel twice the total air. Plus, pot size bets here is, makes it more expensive to continue. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, I'm still just trying to feel out how he's playing in those limp pots because that's something you don't see too often at the higher stakes. At this deep, anyways. Uh, that's the second three bet, I think. Maybe like 12 hands. So that's something to take note of as well. Mm -hmm. And the games only go up to what? Uh, stake? Only, 20, 20, yeah, yeah. only $20 stakes right now, which is unfortunate. Yeah. But, uh, they've, been, they've been really good games. I was playing a bunch of them the other day. Believe it or not, this guy actually is playing a little better than some of I mean, just with his raise sizing and everything. Better already. He's been aggressive, so yeah. Um, sometimes I'll bet I'll bet these flops a little bigger, just because. Oh, is, there, is that not work? Fifty. Yeah. Right. I'm still learning this uh, computer um, wait. here. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I bet. Five oh nine for a second. Yeah, I bet a little bigger on these flops it makes it a little more expensive for them to peel multiple barrels and more expensive to check raise. Um, I also make that same sizing with like my flush draws and other pairs and things like that. Um, I'm probably gonna mix in a three bet here. Um, just because it seems like a good spot to do so. Let's see how he reacts to 3 bets. Just using a standard 3x size there? Yeah, I'm not sex. doing anything yeah. too crazy. Um, probably going to bet a little bigger on this flop just so his range is a little more defined. Oh, yeah, there's these ones. <laughs> 140. Does Sorry. the uh, wheel not work for this? The wheel? The wheel? Is there like a bet size uh, wheel? I'll have to mess around with that. That would be quicker. Yeah, I'm still learning this software. It's still incredibly new to me. Mm -hmm. um, but even though, like, I mean, we're still at uh, the lowest blind levels, so... so you get a lot of time to feel someone out in these, this uh, structure, it seems like. Yeah, it again. It's one of those boards I bet smaller on. And I feel like he's just going to check raise here. A lot <laughs> so of people, but see, a lot of people auto <laughs> check raise this board, and that actually helps out a lot later on. Like, even though right here I'm just going to give up, you know, it, later on when I flop big hands. I was, yeah, I was going to say before that queen hit, you very well might just have the best hand anyways. Yeah. This guy, this guy could be flying with complete air sometimes. Yeah, plus he seems to like those pop bets. I haven't called, I haven't looked him up yet when he's made one of those pop bets. You haven't really been in the position to either. Huh? Yeah, but because of the sizing, I think I'm going to be less likely to be defending passively out of position with hands that don't flop, you know, top pair at least. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I'm just going to check call here because... I figured he might bluff a lot there, but yeah, I feel like he had showdown value the whole way. So this is kind of you know, just, do I want to check call or I want to bet like to get value from four? But if he has a king, he's gonna bet so much. Yeah, just, I like the bet. I was gonna say he played his hand like he had a four there a lot. Yeah, of times. he's got four king high, and if he has a king, well, that's pretty mm -hmm. gross. Does he really raise a king on the river? But that's I mean, weird. Sizing. 
Yeah, that's a little scary. It's it's really so weird because like I have him on a king or a four a lot of times because he's got showdown value. Mm -hmm. But I mean, one thing is if he's this if he's bluffing a lot in a lot of these spots where he's betting pot and stuff like that, you're gonna be able to own him later. The ten dollar yeah. player doesn't have the discipline to like you know know when to turn it off. Yeah, absolutely. And if you look, I mean, he's beating us, but he's only got us beat by a hundred chips. But he's risking so many chips every time he's blowing us off these hands that sure. all it's gonna take is one or two times yeah. for us to catch us. I might be a little more worried if this is like a two hundred dollar like solid rig with a good track record. You might be worried about I know how you're gonna find the weakness in his ranges. But yeah, of course. This is almost certainly not that. These boards are tricky sometimes to play against players you don't know because it hits a lot of their range and you're going to have to barrel multiple streets. So I'm debating just giving up here. I think I'm going to check, just check, give up a lot of times with these steps. Because they're really only good cards. I'm looking at potting. That, <laughs> this could be fun. <laughs> yeah, he's like, just shoving them in there. Yeah, it's, it's, this isn't the guy I really want to build big pots out of position mm -hmm. with uh, Lee I may yeah. even... Uh, I may even mix up a larger min min uh, raised preflop here versus this guy because he seems to be defending pretty wide, and I think I can get away with building. This is, normally I don't fold here, but like I said, this guy is just yeah. he's going to bomb the pot again, so I don't really want to get into tricky spots. Yeah, I think I agree with that fold too. I mean, again, I mean, you haven't really been in any advantageous situations when yeah. he's potted it too much, so I, I think you I think you played it right so far. Yeah. And again, I just I think I'm gonna stick with playing passively out of position and just mm -hmm. trying to hit hands. I might look to call him down here. You don't like uh, betting there at all? I mean, recite, he obviously doesn't have a nine if he doesn't bet there. Yeah, but I think with his pot pot pot, yeah, I think, I'm, gonna, I think I'm I think lot. I'm just gonna call him down here. Like even with that river, sure. I, I really think I got to figure out what he's doing. I don't yeah. think he has a. Here comes a 180 chip bet, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, he's got a king or sometimes, but it's just. Yeah, you know, yeah but what can you do? He's got two pairs. Yeah. Like <laughs> but like, I just, you know, I got to, I got to. Eventually, yeah. I got to kind of figure. No, that out was a, that's that. a good spot to draw a line in the sand. I think and make your call. It looked like a profitable call to me. He's been pretty aggressive. Yeah. I don't even know how to work about this versus this guy. Has he even folded to a seed yet? I, mean, uh, I don't have a HUD for this, obviously. So it, it seems kind of suspect. Uh, we'll give one barrel to see. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, even like a forty or fifty chip bet wouldn't be terrible there. If he has complete air, he right. might just give up. Especially since he just won a big pot. Yeah, uh, I'm debating mixing a three bet in here too. I've only threw that the one other time. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I'm not three betting the three Sure. So this is us getting owned by a ten dollar reg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's a reg yet. No, he's probably not a reg. But maybe we'll see him again. Then we call him a reg. So you guys got that same awesome avatar. That we do. Man, I just, I guess I'm going to appeal. Because if, you know, if I flop, yeah, I mean, he's probably flop. open really wide there, so I agree with your decision. It'd just be nice to hit a flop and have him pop pot, and then we get 600 <laughs> chips out of him. It's always that nice against a big bluffing play. Well, a bluff time. I think we pretty much established a game plan versus villains. Just going to be hit a hand and let him barrel it off. Um, I guess this guy, I wouldn't mind seeing you buff a little bit, too, on some good board textures, but so far you've had some nasty board textures. Yeah, he's just it's, potted. it's been a little tough. That's all right. Uh, I think I'm gonna like check back this flop and let see if he pop pots it. You know, just, yeah. he's been loose though, man. Yeah, I mean, just might have missed a little value. And he doesn't. He seems to be willing to pot it like any time. <laughs> now, he, now he made, now I almost want I want to raise this bet, but like yeah, I gotta raise this bet. Now if he comes over the top, then it's just a sicko, and I'm getting owned by a ten dollar rig. He's all in. Yeah, he's all in, and I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what his min bet means. It kind of scares me a little bit. Yeah. Well, I like I kind of like the C bet on the flop because I feel like it's just really loose. Yeah. And then he would have called, and then you know if you check check turn, if you would have checked the turn, he probably popped the river with like anything. Yeah, that's also true. I just maybe you can see my cards. It's got to be it. Yeah. Software is leaky. Bad. Uh, like check back turn. Maybe see if he. Hmm. It went to be the bad spot to check raise. It would have been a great flop to check raise with air too. Yeah. Because he bet so much. Just destroy him there. I think I'm gonna call it here, and I'm like, if I flop a flush draw or something like that. Light. Oh, wow. oh, easy game. That's a light call. Well, it's not. I'm not just about that either. much. Yeah, but well, that's we're just nice. Call him down, I guess. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you got him now. That's a good turn. Hopefully, he just jams here. Really. Uh, that. And this, this is where I do my small bets. Mm -hmm. I do that with like everything. Though. Like it may look 25. What is going on? 
Yeah, it's taking so long. But you're taking so long with so many bets because you're not used to this computer. So yeah. it's not going to be suspicious for him, I don't think. This may look nutted at the lower stakes, yeah. but at the higher stakes. Like, I think I, that's I, fine. I mean, you gave him an opportunity to, uh, overall, he was out of position, but, I mean, he had an opportunity to bluff on the turn. He didn't. you got to get some kind of value on that turn. Most of yeah. Time. and uh, He's not a complete bluff tard. Like, yeah. I like I like the 1H one, one if that's fine. If he has absolutely anything he's going to call, and once in a while he's going to decide to go crazy and bluff you there. Yeah, I'm going to try, cool. like, limp stabbing versus this guy since he's peeling so many I like that in. strategy, yeah. And he's not folding to a lot of C-bets. And you, you have some position, so you can play around in good board textures, and then, you know, if you hit a hand, you're obviously due to get paid. Yeah. So you're getting in cheap in position. I think that's a good strategy at and again, 20 big blind stacks or so here against them. Yeah, well, we're 40 bigs, but uh, again, like oh, I said, yeah, I, sorry, don't, we're back up I don't have my HUD stats, and talking while I'm playing, I'm trying to remember some of these tendencies, and I feel like he's not folding to many C-bets, and when I check back turns, he's just bombing the river, so it's... It's making it pretty difficult to play against without any stats on them. Mm -hmm. This is another like, small set flop, and if he breaks it, I'm probably going to play back at him. I, I wanted to say the same thing, but I couldn't get that advice because the one player to a hand. Yeah, but that's exactly what I thought when I saw his flop. See bet if he raises, yeah, I would do the same thing. Um, it's because he's been so aggressive. Yeah. That's cool, though, he folded. Maybe he's just a knit and he's just card hot early. Yeah, he just had it every time. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, right. I think this is strong enough to defend me. Well, not <laughs> 3x. This guy plays for he games. didn't start off 3x, and he's done something he's changed here. Maybe I was uh, defending. I'm going to do another limp stabs thing here. And he hasn't raised your limps either, so you haven't had a lot of danger right. being pushed away from stuff. Yeah, and until he's like even peeling, I'd probably just stab like this fall too. And let him stab. Yeah, if he didn't stab, like a small, tiny bet there. So transparent against a good player, but against this guy, he bet like forty. Yeah, it's 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 actually a lot different. Like, who cares? He's, he's not gonna notice, probably. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, it's a it's a lot different to go from, from playing, you know, higher stakes to playing like the lower stakes because you almost have to like get into their head, and sometimes it's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I mean, you're used to playing, you know, one hundred to three hundred dollar games and stuff. And you got so this ten dollar game, and it's yeah, on it's, a softer site than you're probably used to playing as well. Yeah. I'm sure this is the soft of the soft. Since it only goes at twenty dollars heads up sitting there, you're not gonna find any Sicko oh, pros really. Come on. He's the kind of guy that looks like he's like, Oh, he never has an ace, right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He, he seemed content I feel like he's uh now that the blinds have gotten bigger, it's almost like he's slowed down a little bit. So yeah, might, it does seem like it a little bit. I might just go back to opening and playing a more straightforward game. Yeah. Um because I switch I changed up when the blinds went up and it may have been an incorrect adjustment based on how he's been playing. Is there a rematch button on the... Yes, there is a rematch button. Oh, wow, they got that right. There's another... What, I bet 65 last time? I think so. I think he's tired of it now. Playback. Do it. Oh, he's got some discipline, this guy. He's letting you run him over now that you got hands. Oh, he's just a nit. Maybe he just had it every time. Nah, I doubt it. Awesome. Just, I think he's just changing gears a little bit. He's gotten away with somebody he's a little... I think the next level goes straight to 5100. So then yeah, I see up there on top left. It tells you. Yeah. So you get ready to do that. Yeah, those, are, those awkward pauses are almost always a three. Yeah. It feels like. Although for our side, it's just you trying to find the uh, correct numbers to plug into the best yeah, size. Yeah, yeah. I haven't raised a one in a while. Yeah, it looks like a good hand too. <laughs> yep, there you go. I'm gonna have to hand type. He's like, I know he's raising. Yeah. Well, at least when I take my time to raise, it seems stronger, I guess. I don't know. It's, it happens every time, so. Yeah. I'm Hollywooding, it's okay. Right, back to the normal strategy. Hey. Um, I feel like I almost want to keep that small sizing since it doesn't really check raise it. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's 75, though. yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think he's paying attention to bet sizing too much. A lot of players at this level aren't going to pay attention he has to bet sizing, so you can be really super transparent. Yeah, of course. Um, I just I feel like he hasn't he hasn't check raised me a single time. I guess I'm going to defend here. Mm -hmm. It's too strong. And yeah, it's a good looking hand. I think I'm going to play back at this spot yeah. as well. Um, I, you probably, I, yeah, you, okay, go ahead. I was going to say I'm going to check raise, even though, oh, Jesus, really? I, I still, I'm sick out of it. That seems so big, though. Yeah, there's just so many better spots. <laughs> I want to do it, man. I just want to do it. But 
Uh, yeah, that's a tough spot. That's a really interesting spot. I'm curious <laughs> to hear what other people say, but uh, <laughs> like, I mean, he's he's probably raising enough to where he just doesn't hit an ace in the flop enough, and he's probably potting the flop enough. It's but, it's uh, it's like one of those spots where he made. I kind of like a min raise there. That's what I was going to say. I was actually that's exactly what I was going to say. Like I. I was thinking of check min raising, but he seems like the kind of guy that I mean, these guys, these stakes, you never know because uh, they can do unpredictable things. Like even if he has no showdown value, he might just peel the check raise. And if I don't turn like a flush draw or like some kind of double gut shot straight draw, I'm gonna turn the check raise. Let's do a little smaller. Just to... Calling a jam. Here, no, not calling a jam. Not a. No. We're not getting the right price that he shows. Mm. Mm. That tells us a little bit. I don't think he you should have raised the six hundred on that eight side flop. I guess I should have. <laughs> All right, now we got. Right, let's see how he. Sometimes people get kind of weak here. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes fish start folding way too many of their uh, big blinds here. I think this flop I'm going to check back again just because uh, you wanted to. I want him to barrel, and if he's got two unders, he's not really... Yeah, he's not a threat to you. There's no flush draw. Like, yeah. That's pretty cool. I feel like I have to calm down. I would agree, yeah. That's a pretty bad river if he's betting a yeah. nine, but... I mean, this guy could have... You know, you never know. Yeah. I guess I'm just calling him down. Yeah, I like the call. Hey, nice. look at that. Nice hand. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. That's why I like your strategy earlier in this game when you were playing a little tighter. You weren't looking him up that much with, in some spots that were kind of questionable. He looked like he was bluffing, but, you know. Um, yeah, all in all, it, just, it led you to a spot where, you know, he just took a stack where he's probably bluffing a high percentage there. Yeah, and that's another thing where the early on in the match, um, he might think he's getting away with all these pot bets and he gets a little carried away with it later when it's a much larger portion of his stack, and that just leads to us with a pot there where, you know, he just kind of bluffs it all off. Do we get a rematch here, or what? Um, hang on, click OK, congratulations, we can do what you like. Do you yeah, 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 it's rematch. rematch. We got some reads on him, he's an aggressive player. This is someone who's probably valuable to someone who's playing, you know, $5 to $20, $30 level. Yeah. So uh, it looks like he's going to decline. Yeah. So just pull up another game. 